Assalamu alaikum. Hello, alaikum salam. Yes, go ahead, sister, you're on the air. Okay, um, I've got a question about istikhara. Yes. After praying Salat al-Istikhara, how do you differentiate between what you're inclined to and what Allah has directed you to? Um, so if you have two options and you, uh, before praying istikhara, mm-hmm. you, didn't, you didn't really, you weren't inclined to either. Um, but then after praying istikhara, because I, I heard that you shouldn't follow what you're inclined to, but you should follow what Allah has directed you to, but then I really don't understand how, okay. how you know that. Realize, my dear sister in Islam, that there is so much myth around istikhara that, uh, wallahi, it's just depressing to see so much myth put around istikhara. And there are unreasonable expectations and ridiculous conditions put upon the one doing istikhara. It is humanly impossible for you to have uh, two or three options and every single time you have zero inclination towards any one of these options more than the other. Maybe sometimes this is possible, but in every single time you have two options and your heart is dead neutral, this is impossible. You get a lucrative job offer for, of, mashallah, 100,000 pounds, and another job offer of 50,000 with much worse working conditions, of course your heart is going to be inclined towards the 100,000 offer. You get a, a proposal from a brother who's, mashallah, meets all of your criterion, whereas another proposal, he meets one or two and and the rest are not met, of course your heart will incline towards uh, the former rather than the latter. This is a ludicrous condition that honestly has no basis in the sharia to put this condition that your heart has to be neutral. Rather, it is expected that your heart will be inclined towards one, and it's impossible to change that human expectation. So, istikhara is not meant to play with your emotions. Istikhara is meant to open up the avenues from Allah Azza wa Jal regarding which path is better for you and which path is not better for you. So, let me give you a, a scenario. Suppose uh, you wanted to rent an apartment and you saw the apartment and you're looking for apartments, you see one, everything fits and you're so happy and your heart is jumping for joy, I got the deal. You go home, you pray istikhara. You go home, you pray istikhara, what happens? All of a sudden, when you go to sign the paper, uh, the, the landlord says, oh, you know what, I'm so sorry, but uh, the deal is not able to go through. Or another technicality happens and you don't get your uh, apartment that you want. This is your istikhara being put into effect. Why? Because the meaning of salat al-istikhara is that Allah Azza wa Jal will block the avenues that are harmful to you and open up the avenues that are better for you. Therefore, do as your heart wishes. Do as your heart is content in doing. And if that is good for you, the doors will open up. And if that is not good for you, those doors will not open up and Allah Azza wa Jal will divert you somewhere else. And you will be content in this diversion because you will realize this is the result of my istikhara. And I hope that that uh, clarifies.